Welcome at Bow. Today I'm uh, presenting a beautiful Delphinium variety called the Delphinium Trick. And what's the trick? The trick is that actually it's just out of the oven a couple of years now. And um, as you can see, it's uh, cooking here in the oven. Um, why? Because it's cooking to become a beautiful floral arrangement. And so um, I'm going to show you little tricks about the trick, the Delphinium trick, um, how to use it. And But first, let me explain you a little bit about this beauty of this particular variety Delphinium. The Delphinium trick is a variety which is an, an hybrid. Um, it's a very long lasting one plus the beauty is actually in the flower itself so we all do know of course the delphinium uh, which is a spiky flower uh, but this particular one has something very special it's a kind of pastel yellow on the inside and the outer petals they have a color it's available in three colors like in pink in lavender and in a white color. It's not a pure white, it's a beautiful off-white color which is fantastic to use in modern uh, uh, stylish arrangements and bouquets. But there is another, and now here comes the trick, something to explain about delphinium. Delphinium, when you use it in a normal mixed bouquet, then you can imagine that, I take just this hydrangea for now, when you put them all at the same level, that at the end you only see a little bit of the beauty of the delphinium. So actually when you make arrangements or bouquets, you have to give it some space that it really shows the whole length of the spike. And I'm kinda going to make like a, a, an example of, a, of a, how you make a bouquet, let's say. I do it very simple with just two types of flowers. So I take the delphinium and I center them. Now what I'm doing is that I'm going to put them in different lengths to give it a more natural look, as you can see. Not so over-organized that it looks like if they come out of a factory, because that's not the case. Growers, they put all their effort and love in growing these gorgeous flowers. You see now, it's like uneven, almost like if you went along for a beautiful walk in your garden, snap off some pretty flowers and you bring it home. And now to show the length and the beauty of all these beautiful spike flowers, I just put around some hydrangea, very simple. You see how easy this is? And if you wrap this up, then immediately it's, um, it's a piece of art. People will love it, people will enjoy it. And of course, you don't have to make it just in this pink, uh, for, with this pink variety, you can also do it with the white or with the blue. But actually, what I also would like to show you is how to make an arrangement with it. And to make an arrangement with it, um, that's actually the same story. Give the flower some space, it's very important. And then um, to, to use um, the different colors, of, in this case, the different colors of, uh, of the variety trick. But I start with the hydrangea. This hydrangea is gorgeous, by the way. Incredible, beautiful blue. And I'm using a, uh, a bucket, clear bucket. I added some stones, as you can see here. Some stones, some shells. When you do that, please wash them before you use it, because there might be some salt on the shells. And salt in the water is not okay for your flowers. So please do wash them very well. And then I start 
using the hydrangea at the bottom. I take the, most of the leaves off so that they last longer. So now I go for the next round of flowers. This is uh, Lysianthus. I leave them a little bit longer and I start really like with the most heavy flowers um, at the bottom of my uh, arrangement. As you can see, my hydrangeas, they really help me to position the flowers uh, very well. Now, I have some greens. This is Eucalyptus parfifolia. Um, has a nice fragrance uh, as well. And of course, we have to take the leaves off, which are growing inside the water. Because when the water is dirty, the flowers don't last as long. Okay, so now we have like the base of the greens and now we start with the delphinium. The delphinium, I start with a pink one. But look at this. It's incredible how strong these fragile, actually fragile stems are and the beautiful movement. Incredible. So now this is the, the pink one, and so let me put those back. Then I here have the white one. It lights up this, um, this arrangement. Do you see that? And I also do know that a lot of you are afraid of uh, the delphinium because you think that they all shatter. That's not the case. It all depends on the post-harvest treatment. So if they are treated uh, well at the farm, they won't shatter and they last absolutely long. And as you can see, that I told you before, all of them, they have this light yellow center, which makes the color so very special. The last one. And for the finishing touch, I'm using the Setaria in between. And of course, this also has to be a little high so that it really flares. And the arrangement is finished. So, as you can see, the beauty, by the way, yummy, yummy. Um, you can see the beauty here with the stones, um, with, uh, with the water and the delphinium, with the grasses, presenting a gorgeous walk, tiptoeing through the garden, full of gorgeous, incredible flowers from the ball company. If you want to know more about these particular varieties, like the trick, please visit www.ball.com and you can find all the specifics, how to grow them, uh, how the production is, how the productivity is, so that you can start growing them and present them to your customers. Thank you very much, we'll see you next time.